Good morning. Welcome to Northwoods Angling. Out here, Lake Superior, Fish North MN, Kent and Jordan. We're out here targeting lake trout. Hopefully get a few salmon in the mix, possibly a few walleye, we don't know. But we're gonna get out in the water, the sun's about to come out, and we're gonna hit them hard. So I was just embarking in a, in a salmon nugget try eating. To, try to bring it around and up the middle. I was just eating some salmon. I think that is a salmon. Or a little lake trout. Keep skating. Ooh, keep skating. I'm just going to ski it. Keep skating. Keep skating. A little salmon, little. baby. Oh, first oh, salmon. Oh, nice. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Coho. It's my first salmon I've ever nice. caught. This is why we are uh, fishing meat rigs with smelt. Right there. Fresh one. Was this on? No, this, this, he, he puked, puked right this up. Me, uh, we caught this fish on a spoon. So this smelt was in that salmon, you guys. And it is fresh. I'm gonna eat this now. As part of the boat ritual, Do it. Bite the, the, head off. the boat captain gets to eat the smelt. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. Let me hold that bad boy up. Well, I just caught my first salmon. This is a juvenile king, a Chinook actually. Um, and you can tell that because it actually has the black on the inner of the mouth here. My first salmon I've ever caught. I am super stoked. It's not a big one, but it is a salmon and I did catch it. So this one's gonna get eaten. It's gonna taste delicious. And we're gonna catch some more fish. We are hooked up. This feels like a good fish. And this is a big fish rod we had out. We had this thing, what, 205 feet out. We're in about 165 feet of water here. And we're just looking for these subtle changes in water temperature. That's where we're finding these fish. We just marked a huge school of bait. And this fish just hooked up probably two minutes after we passed that school of bait. Oh yeah. This thing's definitely fighting. Jordan and Kent, they definitely know how to get on the fish. We're probably 45 minutes in, third fish of the day. Big old one pound weight on Plus there. Plus two miles an hour, you know, moving at two miles an hour yeah. makes a big difference too. Right. But I think we got a good fish this on feels here. feels real yeah. heavy. Like Kent was saying, you don't want to let this weight bounce too much on there. We got a one pound weight. And if it bounces too much, you could lose the fish, so. There's that ball, so he's coming. You ready, Blake? Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's a great fish. Unreal, Ken. Nice. Thank you. Nice Buddy. Nice yes, fish. sir. We're going to get a good release on this one, then. Big old lake trout. Look at that guy. That is awesome. Important to release these fish. These big girls right here, you want to get them back in the water. This was, this thing fought, it hit the big fish line. We had this one out specifically targeting the bigger, the bigger lakers here and it definitely proved, uh, proved successful. It's a great fish here. Um, Kent's going to show me how to release these while going. I've, I've never caught a lake trout in open water before. I've caught a couple through the ice. Uh, this thing definitely put up a fight. Reeling it in from 205 feet of water. Uh, awesome. Unreal morning here, and uh, we're gonna get her back, get her back nice and healthy, and get a few more fish. Get that water pumping through the gill. If she doesn't want to go, we put the boat in neutral. There we go, and we let we let them tell us when she wants to go. 
You're up next, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, when it's slow and you know, kind of like nothing's going on, and right about this time, sun's high in the sky, I go for the lucky egg trick. We haven't had a fish in two minutes, and he's pulling out the lucky egg. Would All you right, like what's one? What's the lucky egg? It's just a hard-boiled egg. I love hard-boiled okay. eggs. Okay. Yeah. Crack it on that side. I'll crack mine on this side. Crack it. Send the eggs in. Wait, we get rid of the egg? Well, the shell. The shell. You know? Oh, okay. And this does what? Catches fish. This catches fish. <laughs> and then you eat the egg. It's pretty simple. Well, the egg part's it's good. Breakfast. Oh, fish, fish! Seriously? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a fish on. It was on the dropper in about 130, 140 feet. And I think it's a pretty small fish, but I mean, just this technique we're using out here, that one just looked like it got smoked. And there we go, that's a lake trout. You're good, Kent. A lot of smaller size fish today, um, but any day you're on Lake Superior catching lake trout is a good day. Just a, a beautiful lake trout, great harvest fish. And uh, I think we're gonna keep this one, bring it home, have a good meal tonight. So we'll get her in the box, that get fish, the line fish, back fish, out. Fish. Oh yeah, there you go. Put him in the box, another one. Perfect. All right, I'll double, double up. Ooh. One man double, I like it. We had one on the dropper and now one on the planer. Just doubled up real quick. Gotta go all the way to the right of the boat if you can. All the way to the right. When you're running 10 rods, you gotta be pretty precise on how you're doing this. Anytime you get a planer board on the left, you gotta move to the right side of the boat. Just so we can get it past this rod here perfectly. You want them right in the middle of the boat. Yep, just bring it in, stop reeling. Just that clip on the front. Just pop it off, and we're back. Nice work. We're just getting a phenomenal hookup ratio today. I mean, I think we're seven for seven on fish. This one feels a little better than the last one I had. I'm still working this guy. It says he's 67 feet away. I mean, I don't think he's a super jumbo, but he's definitely putting the work on me and obviously a little more work when you're reeling in a one pound ball. <laughs> Two miles an hour, Greg. It's a great fish. Great, great fish. Okay. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Stop, just back straight up, Blake, back straight up. Thank you. Nice work. Nice, nice lake trout. Oh, well, we got another fish on. I, I can't complain. We were trying to set that line and uh, <laughs> one to the hand. <laughs> Kent felt it hit when he was uh, setting the rod. Putting the rods down, guys, and it gets hit by another fish. It's gonna be another king. I'm feeling it. It's really digging down, and I like that. Oh yeah, now it's putting up some fight. It is up. Oh yeah, nice one, dude. Nice fish. Heck yeah. Skate it right in, skate it right in. I don't think no. so, but we'll take it. All right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Yeah, buddy. There it goes, there it goes, go, go, go. I hope so. There it goes. What an unbelievable day on the water, Blake. Yep, drove through the night, made it here, running low on sleep, but it was high energy in the boat today. It was one fish after the other. We're gonna call it a day, awesome day on the water. 
with Fish North MN. Check them out on Facebook. Jordan and Kent, some great guys. They put us on a whole bunch of fish and I couldn't have asked for a better day on the water. Yep, so if you guys are looking for a great charter to book on Lake Superior, these are the guys to look up. Definitely. From uh, Northwoods Angling. To you guys out there, thanks a lot for checking us out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button.